getting so high And it helps me I'm just a sober guy I'm getting so high And it helps me I've asked the questions why I'm getting so high And it helps me Lulu is the beautiful horse I fell off almost six years ago and I ended up with a broken foot and in bed for three months. Come here. But her, the pig and her don't really gel. And that's when I was given a guitar and then I started to play the guitar. So I've got a lot to thank the horse for. No, that's just before the fade. Yeah, okay. So that's I promise. The I mean, I only picked up a guitar five years ago and started to do this. Hardcore Rocky sort of feel in the middle of the song. The Jack and Ori for me, I always feel really selfish because obviously the songs were about my experiences when I wrote them. The years keep rolling by, still getting so high. He's telling his, his life story really in his songs and so it's kind of nice to be a part of that and, and, and hopefully I'm helping him as well. My problem is with alcohol, simple as that. I think alcohol has done more damage to this world than any other substance has. I think if I got into music when I was a lot younger and drinking, it would have been a, would have been a fucking dreadful journey. You know, I, I probably wouldn't be standing here today, I'd be perhaps six foot under. For me, music is therapy. It's much cheaper than a, than a psychologist or a psychiatrist. Playing guitar is very therapeutic. Wow. So I can do hours and hours and hours of it. Maybe because I'm basically quite a lazy person, so sitting down with a guitar on your lap is, is, uh, is not too strenuous, really. <laughs> I find music, it's almost like having a tonic, you know what I mean? The healing flows through the sound. It's really helped me in my recovery. I would suggest it. Music is the biggest healer, and music can really take you out of your misery better than anything else. I think it's the best medicine. Hey, it's a rich experience, and yeah. music is... It's almost like taking a drug, you know, and... Uh, I enjoy taking drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Once an addict, always an addict. It's, you can't just stop being an addict. You've got to replace almost the addiction with coffee. You must see how fucking people who have recovered from alcohol drink coffee. I mean, fuck gallons of it. Every every day you've got to be a little bit aware of, of not not slipping up in a really bad way. I mean, playing my music is is, is a form of addiction. It gives me such a pleasurable thing. It's, it's a real joy and uh, it's a great escape. Well, there's a man I know. It's a very low. It's been a great experience. I mean, possibly because the guys are just such great guys. Yeah, <laughs> My journey with Christian is like a brother, you know. You know, somebody who's actually traveled like the road, very similar. You know, Derek was busy trying to get his life back together after addictions and what have you, and we've just, we've just created this incredible bond and friendship and through the music. We've all kind of grown together. In fact, all the guys, Ken, myself, Derek, we've all kind of uh, grown into this thing. Derek and I had played as a duo at the River Club a couple of times and a guy there, he came up to us and asked us if we had a CD and um, I explained that we'd done four tracks but we were quite a long way off getting it finished because of money and he kindly offered to pay for it all, um, totally out of the blue and I suppose it gave me a lot of faith in what we were doing. It's sort of, if this person's prepared to believe in what we're doing and he's heard this and believes it can, can grow from here, it, it encouraged me a lot. You know, I'm sort of often I'm, I'm in disbelief that people are as enthusi enthusiastic as they are about what we're doing. I think it's honesty tends to send out a message of trust and um, 
we're real people just trying to have some fun and play music and the messages we put out will maybe help other people that have had a similar journey or still struggle with it. Yeah, don't know how. Hopefully the Jack and Roy music is, is refreshing. I want, it, I want it to refresh people's minds. Christian told me that, uh, you know, that the whole, the whole project's being sponsored by someone he met in a, at a gig in a pub. Shallow friendships in a glass. Oh, I think that's the same thing I felt when I first heard Christian's songs. I thought, oh, there's something here. I couldn't put my finger on it and I didn't know what it was. He, he does talk about his own experience and yeah, and he has quite a take on things, you know, that, that is quite interesting and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to. So once we finish this CD, then we're going to hopefully get out there and, and present ourselves with some pretty recognised musicians. The years keep rolling by. Still getting so high. And From being like an insecure drunk to being a sober person who can get on a stage in front of a few hundred people and and sing my songs and with Derek and the guys behind me is something that I was told I could never do as a youngster. Oh, I really need. I've seen huge growth in him. I mean, he is quite a, uh, uh, I won't say a young musician, but he he started late. That's my next part of my journey, is to be happy and to have fun, you know, and to just be passionate about the music and let it speak for itself. It's only sort of becoming something through recording the album, you know, um, which is great because, you know, who knows where it's going to go from there. Derek's one that if he says, if you, if you believe the dream, it, it has to happen, you know. Still, it's, it's that, that eternal promise of as long as I stay sober, everything will be okay. <laughs> I know for sure it's that I 